G'day, Ben Pettingill here, professional speaker with only 2% eyesight. I'm really excited to be with you here today to share with you how to communicate your value with confidence. I want to introduce myself to start with though. When I was 16 years old, I lost 98% of my eyesight overnight to a rare genetic syndrome called Leber's Hereditary Optic Neuropathy, or LHON. As you can imagine, and as I know a lot of you would be able to relate, this turned my world upside down. At that point in time, I thought it crushed all my childhood hopes and dreams in an instant. And especially when I thought about my future and a potential career, I thought this was going to be next to impossible. Thanks to the support of family, friends, and other resources and networks and organisations, such as Vision Australia, I was able to build up the skills and knowledge to be able to not only finish school, but then go on to launch my own career. To introduce that journey for you, after I finished school, I went on to university and I studied a Bachelor of Business. But after a little while, I figured out that wasn't what I was passionate about. What I really wanted to explore when it came to a career was professional speaking. I wanted to share not only my story, but more, most of all, the lessons I'd learned and help build resilience and introduce the power of perception to corporate companies, corporate organisations, and also schools all around Australia. I've now been doing that for four years and I'm excited to share some of the lessons that I've learned with you today. There's four tools that I wanna share with you and I'm gonna share the first two with you in this video. The first tool that I want you to take home today is the independence impact. When you're going to meet a potential employer for the first time or when you're going to visit their premises or their organization, what I want you to remember is even though it may be a little bit more difficult, it might be completely natural for you and it might put you out of your comfort zone, you've really got to make sure that you take ownership and step up to visiting that workplace for the first time or going to that job interview by yourself. Even if it's challenging, even if you've got to ask for help and use those self-advocacy skills that you've got, that is going to be the first big tick in the box of a potential employer. If they see you stepping up to the plate, coming through the door, whether it's with your guide dog, whether it's with your white cane, your ID cane, or even if it's just by yourself, if you've got to go to reception and ask for help, whatever that may be, even if you run into a few obstacles, coming by yourself shows that you're a problem solver, shows that you embody resilience, and shows that you don't need assistance. If you walk in with someone helping you to the door, helping you to reception, that automatically automatically communicates to a potential employer that you might be hard work as, a, as an employee. Now, you and I know that that's not the case, but the first thing we want to communicate to a potential employer is that we are resilient, that we are independent, and that we are up for a challenge instead of needing assistance. That's the first point. The independence impact is the first thing that I want you to remember when you're going to meet a potential employer, whether it's a job interview, whether it's just for a coffee at the local cafe, whatever that may be, the independence impact is the first key and will really help with that first impression. The second tool that I want you to take away from this video is to leverage language. And this is both when you talk to yourself, but most of all, when you're talking to that potential employer, leverage the language you use. If you're sitting at a cafe or if you're in the job interview and you get asked what you're after, or what you want out of this job, you're not there just for a job. You're there for a career. Just because you are blind or have low vision, just like me, we don't just, we're not just after a job because we live with a disability. Anyone who's able-bodied would get asking, asked in an interview what you want your career progression to be. That's what you need to focus on as well, a career instead of a job. You're not just there for a job, and you're not just. Don't use the word just because that's degrading. What I want you to remember is to use positive words and empowering words and use them with confidence. Don't bring yourself down due to something that you can't control, being your blindness or low vision. Use words and use language and leverage that with positivity. Because if you're telling yourself that you just want a job, or if you go into that interview and say, oh, I've applied for 17 jobs before, but they've all focused on the fact that I've got low vision and it's going to be harder to employ me, that's not gonna get you off on the right foot. What you wanna do is focus on positive language 
leverage that and talk about your skills, and your knowledge and your experience with confidence. And I don't want you, up until this point in time, you shouldn't have even have to have mentioned your blindness or low vision. That doesn't have to, have to even come into account yet. Talk about your skills, knowledge and experience with confidence and leverage that language. In the second video, what I'm going to share with you is the last two points that are going to help you communicate your value with confidence. We'll see you there. Vision Australia. Blindness. Low vision. Opportunity. Vision Australia logo. Three navy blue ovals linked together diagonally within a bright yellow rectangle.